Hey, welcome to another section of Socket.io Solutions, building a room with a view. In the previous section, we worked with various examples of two-way Socket.io communication. In this section, we will learn how to create chat channels with namespaces. After that, we'll see how to join rooms and then leave them. We'll also list the rooms the socket is in. Then we'll make private rooms and finally set up a default room. Now, let's go over the first video of this section, creating chat channels with namespaces. In this video, we will set up two separate groups of chat channels so that we can post to either group. We'll see that the message will be restricted to the namespace for that group. Namespaces are a great way to make sure that our socket I.O. events are not emitted globally to all the sockets that are connected to the server. We can send messages to a namespace. Only the sockets listening to this namespace will receive the event. Many applications have multiple customers that should never be mixed together. In our URLs, we typically show the use of different domains to keep. For this video, we'll use jQuery for the DOM manipulation and Twitter Bootstrap for styling purposes. To create chat channels with namespaces, follow these instructions. First, add your server-side code. I have already created server.js in section 4 and a folder called chat channels. We will create a loop to call a function that will set up our two different namespaces. The io.of method is used to create a namespace. It takes a string with the name of the namespace as the first argument. The namespace name is important because we also use it on the client side. Now let's look at our client side template. Note that most of the template is actually in a script tag. The template in the script tag will not be executed when the page loads. We will grab it with JavaScript and manipulate it before it is rendered to the DOM. Our script will call the create namespace function twice in a loop to create two unique namespaces and render the interface to display these namespaces as shown in the following code. Here, we just needed to add the namespace to the end of our first argument in the IO method. In our example, we instantiated the namespace with the port number as IO HTTP localhost 5000 slash my namespace. However, if we were listening on port 80 instead of port 5000, we could actually just pass the namespace name and not worry about providing the port IO, my namespace. After both of these files have been created, let's go to the terminal and start the server as always. After that, let's open the browser and visit localhost 5000. So, we have two namespaces. Let's see how they work. We saw that we can post to either group and the message will be restricted to the namespace for that group. Great! We created a chat channel with two namespaces in this video.